Hi, I'm Spencer. I'm one of the creative directors here at Drift. I've got five tips to help improve the photography on your website. Let's get started. Tip one, composition matters. Try to put your subject to the left or right, depending on where the text is on your website. Most photographers will tell you to use the rule of thirds, but for a website, that just simply doesn't work. Your person will most of the time fall underneath the text. I recommend using the rule of quarters. It's just a little further out, left or right, and then it's much easier to have room for text. Tip two, shoot wider than you think you should. Most of the time when you're taking a photo, you wanna make it look great in camera, not for web though. You wanna shoot as wide as possible so you have as many options for framing the photo. You can crop in, you got tons of megapixels, use those. Tip three, mind the background. Solid color backgrounds are gonna work great for most websites. It's not distracting and you got a lot of room to play with in post to change the color, but that might not work for your brand. If you do need something with a little more texture or a little bit more interest in the background, we recommend pulling the subject as far as you can away from the background to create depth there. It'll blur the background out, give you a nice bokeh, and it's gonna make your photo look a lot better. Tip four. What is it? Tip four, minimize the file size. Large photos not only slow down your site, they also negatively affect your SEO. On all of our sites we do, we try to keep all the image file sizes under 250K. This helps load faster and will increase your SEO rank. Images with less color and low contrast are actually gonna be able to have a smaller file size, so keep that in mind whenever you're using photos for your site. Tip five, last thing, always edit your photos. I know this might seem like an obvious one, but just take the time and pull it into a, the photo editor of your choice and pump up the contrast, give it a little more saturation, edit that photo so it looks a lot nicer. One thing to keep in mind though, make sure the photo matches the rest of the photos on your site. One of the things we see all the time is that one photo might look really great and then someone buys a stock photo that looks completely different. Try to avoid things like that. To help you with editing your photos, we actually have created a Lightroom preset that we use on a lot of our own photos here. It's just a simple bump of the contrast. It's gonna increase the saturation. It's just gonna make the photo pop. There are three versions of it. It's totally free. All you gotta do is go to the link below and you'll find it. Bonus tip, if you are gonna use stock photos, which I recommend you, you don't do that if you totally can, but if you are, use a site like Unsplash. Those photos are gonna look way better than most of the stock photos you're gonna find.